Yes, well, I will start with the English version mm -hmm. because it's my favorite. Breathlessly, I'll be watching you. Breathlessly, knowing there's no vacancy within your heart. Perdesi, senza fiato di dire sì. Is that enough? Fantastic, thank you so much. Will, will be able to see this press conference because it was done in Italian because we live so far away, he lives in the States, I live in Malta, we don't get to see each other very much and I wanted to, to make this especially for him, in fact it was a surprise, he didn't know about it, about the Italian version and uh, ciao papà ti voglio bene! <laughs> Thank That's you, it. we have next question. Hi, Alistair Bellich from Europhile. We've just been talking to Jana from FYRM about Harry Potter. I understand you have a role promoting books to children in Malta, is that correct? Yes. Can you tell us about it? And why is reading so important nowadays when everything's available online? Well, yes, um, uh, I have been appointed one of the ambassadors for reading. And I go to schools and uh, we choose either an English book or a Maltese book. Um, uh, to promote reading to kids nowadays because as you said um, uh, technology has taken over books I believe it is very important because books give you so much imagination it's one thing to read a book and then when you see the remake of the movie it is completely different because a book can take you so many other places whilst when you're just seeing it there there's nowhere to go, you know, it's, it's in front of you so, and me working in a school, I, we promote reading all the time. I think it makes you grow, and uh, if I had to take this artistically, it made me grow as well when I come to write music. So, reading is awesome. Let's all read, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The next question is there. Hello, Alexander from uh, East Ross. You have some Eurovision family history, <laughs> so tell us um, a little bit about your brother and maybe uh, devices from your brother. Well, um, uh, my brother is Fabrizio Faniello, he was in the Eurovision Song Contest back in 2001 and again representing Malta uh, in 2006. Fabrizio was always my idol, there's seven years um, uh, of difference between us, so I was practically a teenager when he first went with Another Summer Night, and uh, we were always so supportive of each other, and he made me believe that I could do it. And uh, during all these years, um, uh, and even now, before I left on Sunday, he told me, well, he's actually the older brother, but I think I'm the mo most mature one. So he told me, all I have to say, you know what your job is, send those emotions through breathlessly and uh, I will be cheering for you like the rest of the family. And I'm gonna sing a piece of the first song um, uh, that took my brother to Eurovision, which was Another Summer Night, it's one of my favorites, and it goes something like this. Another summer night down by the ocean Under the palm trees you and I Walking on the beach beneath the moonlight Just like a dream that never dies Never dies Just like a dream that never dies Another summer night Uh, you have to talk to us uh, about your brother Fabrizio and uh, previous participants uh, have also uh, brothers and sisters who have tried to participate to Eurovision. His music uh, uh, is a music, an affair of family in Malta because there are a lot of <laughs> music families. Uh, yes. Edwards, for example, Bella. Yes, yes. Um, well, you have to understand that Malta is a very small country, but we, ha we love music. 
We love your vision, and um, I think in every family there is a musician, either a singer or someone who plays an instrument. So music is very dear to us. We support each other a lot, even as artists. We know each other because we're so small, and um, and yeah, we are like a big family of musicians and singers. Thank you. More questions from the floor? Yes, please. There, at the back. Hi, from Victoria. Hi. I met you in. Uh, yes, I remember. Oh, uh, the radio stations in South Africa has listened to all the songs, and your song was picked as the most radio friendly by a female artist. So here's a little reward for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Please give my thanks. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I have a shower right here now. I can sing in the shower as well. Do we have more questions from the floor? Press. Hey, Claudia. Hi. No Hi. Thank oh, you. yeah, no, thank you very much, man. Yeah, we might have this one. Neil from MusicToday.com. Well, when we met two years ago, you said you have to take a break from all the not Eurovision, and this year you came back and made it all, so why did you decide to try it again? Well, um, uh, my songwriters always believed in me, we have worked together in past years, and every year they used to tell me, if you ever want to come back, we, are, we, are really, we would be really pleased to write songs for you, and um, actually I was strict into going to the studio to record a demo to be sent abroad and then uh, at the recording studio uh, the, one of the songwriters told me okay Cloud, thank you for recording this but now I need to you need to listen to something and that something was a huge thing because it was breathlessly and I'm telling you it was a, a roller coaster of, of emotions and I was like oh my god I think I'm coming I'm going back to your vision and thank God for that, because if it wasn't for that moment, I wouldn't be here standing in front of you guys. Thank you. One more question there. Hi, I'm Simon Hi. from Polish Radio Newsletter. First of all, congratulations for your amazing vocal. Thank you. Really, I mean, it sounds like it's stupid. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, uh, you know, I read your lyrics, and the two first lines say, I walk the street, leaving footprints in your heart. And I had my own visionary, uh, <laughs> and the picture of these lyrics that the person you love is lying in the street. <laughs> and I'm stepping on them. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm wondering <laughs> yeah, <time> I <laughs> <laughs> how you treat the person you love, your partner. Well, yes, he's here. He's very supportive. <laughs> I believe that love, in all aspects of love, uh, is one of the most beautiful things. And coming to the, verse you, the verses you said, I always uh, take music as, a, as an example of our, our, we as artists walk the streets in, 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 uh, through our music in the lives of other people and we leave parts and we leave a print through our music. And that is something I carry with me even in my personal life. I think if I meet you, I want you to remember me. I want to touch you, not just through my music, but as a person. And uh, that's a beautiful thing, I guess. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We had a question here. Hello, Claudia, it's JP. Um, you have been nine times in the national final. You have shown how diverse you are with the music styles you sing. What is your preferred music style? you would like to sing is a ballad or the pop song like Caravaggio and which of those 10 songs you had at the National Fund is your favorite apart from this year's? Okay, so I guess that um, the most important thing in a song for me is that I feel in touch with the song. It doesn't have to be a ballad, it doesn't have to be an up-tempo song. If I feel comfortable in it and I can show that I, I can transmit that uh, sense of, of, of serenity through my song, then it's a good song. Because what I'm delivering is true, it's what I'm really feeling. 
And if I had to choose another song apart from Breathlessly, which I, not because I am here singing it, I think it is my favorite and that's why I'm here. I think I would say Pure because it was another emotional song and I'm very emotional <laughs> about everything. Thank you. Next question here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Alistair again. I'd like to follow on uh, from what JP was saying. Ten times. That's a lot of effort. Um, how has entering the national final helped your career on the other nine years, though? And is it something you would recommend to uh, maybe a young artist who's considering uh, going for the ultimate prize in Eurovision? Well, I think um, uh, the ups and downs. I always say life is a roller coaster, and my, my career was that. I think it makes you appreciate more and, uh, and take nothing for granted. It makes you grow. It makes you grow personally and artistically because through um, uh, different songs and different sounds, you become to know yourself better. So then when, when uh, in, in my case, now being here today, I feel I am ready to take on the stage because I had a long journey, I know what I want to do, I believe in my song, it is something I love and I feel, and it took me so much to come here, so every minute I cherish every second, and uh, I'm happy, I'm, I'm, I, maybe I don't look <laughs> like happy jumping around, but deep inside my heart is a burst of, of, of beautiful feelings. Thank you. We have one more question there. Hi, it's Fernando from ESC United. Hello. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Of course, you are from Malta. Everyone knows everyone in Malta. So, I'm sure you have spoken to people. Who is the best? Who gave you the best advice to come here for your vision? And why you're cherishing it so much? This advice that you have given. Thank you. Well, since, as you said, we know each other so well, um, a lot of artists know how, how, how long it took me to come here and how passionate I am about it. So they all told me, Cloud, you've been working for this for so long. Just go there, sing your heart out and enjoy it. And, and uh, transmit those breathless emotions through your song. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you. Do we have more questions? Yeah, okay. Claudia Faniello. Yes, I got one more. <laughs> Last question. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Uh, Malta has so many fantastic musical talents. Who should follow you for Malta in the footsteps of next year? I think it's not a matter of who. I think it's a matter of what song. And I cannot answer that question until I listen to the best song, because this is a song festival. So I, I congratulate whoever it will be and may the best win. But it's a song, so I can't say who deserves to go as, as an artist. Super.